Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Rainbow, and today we're playing the Max Implement. Um, we've been trying to get a few games in, in this carrier, but not much luck with our games. They're either steamrolls, or there's just not good matchmaking. Been getting a lot of 5 destroyed games, unluckily, so hopefully this one's gonna be a lot better. If you haven't watched the first video of the Max Immelman playlist, it's um... You can go ahead and check that out. I basically do a whole review on this ship when uh, the embargo was dropped. Let's see if we can drop that conquer right there. We hit the brakes, we immediately turn around. We hit two, two pens, that's fine. Now what I just did there, that's actually one of the strengths of Immelman with the skip bombers. Notice how I only lost two planes there two planes on the way back but two planes in my squadron that's very strong and the reason for that is because these very long range on this uh, skip bombers when you hold the acceleration it actually goes out further max range is at four kilometers with the speed build Let me get this off here that's defensive fire but that's not really gonna do much nice we saved this last plane which is good and when you hold acceleration your range actually increases for how far the bombs bombs go and what you can do is drop them at max range while speed uh, speed boosting and then you can hit the brakes the moment that you drop the bombs and then make a u-turn that way you can actually see the snipe very well actually let me see if I can actually get that get a, a moment of that in this game as well because we are going against the midway so hopefully this game will let us do that here Contact so I can show you guys. Designated target. Well that Colbert is just eating everything. He's gonna go on the our, our side of the island here so we don't have to worry too much by him hiding from us. So we just do this, hit the brakes, start the run. Hit the brakes again, turn around. That was a very bad drop because I actually dropped a little... I started to run a little too close to him, so I'm only going to get only one plane off. I'll keep spotted though. Let's do that. Rider airborne. Let's see if I can actually move up here. But mode enabled. My volume was a little too loud. Okay. So yeah, skip bombers. Very good for long range strikes. You can strike some ships out of their... Um, their scary AA zone, which is the medium and close ranges. If a ship has strong long range, then you only stay in there briefly because you can immediately make a U-turn and leave. Very good at conserving planes. Okay, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> okay, I guess. Goodbye to you. Let's uh, let's go after this Montana. Actually, you know what? No, let's go after this Yamato. I see him in mid. Let's actually go for the Yamato. Much better target for us. Now my sound audio is just really quiet. It's a little too quiet. Okay. But yeah, in terms of games, uh, in terms of damage, I haven't been able to get a very good games at all. This demon is just hugging the battle the battleships which is very awkward for us. But so far I haven't had any outstanding games upon uh Ilman's release. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just because the dockyard event. A lot of these games are just blowouts for me so I'm gonna pop that heel early to save this plane. That's the Mino oh no that's a little scary. Get it away from there as soon as fast as possible. We did land a flood, so that's good. I'll force the damage calm on the Yamato. I just, I just, I just gotta keep I'll rotating away. So if the CV spots me, this carrier does have the same concealment style as MVR. So your air concealment is just horrendous. And when you do when you get spotted, you'll get a lot of damage taken because you have 14, 14 per 2 air concealment. That's very, very bad. <laughs> very bad. Now 
Nice, we got a perma flood there. Okay. Let's continue to go after the Yamato. Hopefully we get another flood if we're lucky. Come on, RNG. If we hit it, if, if we hit that tor- okay, we hit it. So she's just perma flooding. That's fine. We need a cap. We have A and C. B cap is not going to be able to be taken at all this game, I'm assuming. Let's set up auto apply so we reverse and turn. Oh, whoops. That's my fault. I dropped the fighters a little too out of range. <laughs> too far out of range of that one. I'm going to go after the Des Moines here. Open water Des Moines, imagine. We get four hits on her here. Oh, nice. That's good. That's good. Damage cons that. Uses defensive fire. Wow. I'm not too worried. Hit the brakes again to negate all of this defensive fire flak and then immediately zoom away. We land double fires on him now. So now he's double. Burning quite a lot. That's pretty good. Let's go for this third drop here. When you start the attack run at like seven kilometers, six kilometers out, and then if you hold your speed boost, you will be in range to get that perfect, um, the perfect distance of four kilometers, which is the max range of the reticle. I really want to CV snipe this game, but I don't think I'm going to be able to have the chance because of just how everyone is rotating. Let's hope we get that, that Des Moines dead. And let me also drop a fighter here to at least help him out. Help these guys out. I need this Austin to live. There's a huge threat on this side for us. Now that Montana, I th I do have the faster arming distance on the, on the torpedoes. Uh, skill on this build, so I think I can actually get that over. But do I want to? If I drop the Montana, I'm in. I'm in a lot of AA. So actually, let's not do that. Let's wait for the Montana to peek out here, and if not, then we can just strike these guys over here. No, he's not peeking out. Let's just go away. I'm just keep reversing here. This, this is what I like to do. It's just like in surface ships in the, in regular ships. I like to re um, show my stern to the enemy and then reverse in. The new autopilot system that they um, that they added in, I think it was two patches ago. Um, you can actually it, you can actually reverse and turn, set up a turning course while reversing with autopilot now, which is very nice. Okay, we're gonna strike the Yamato. Mino is still hugging the island, I'm assuming. And we do get the faster regeneration on the planes too. That's good. No, Mino is here. Oh no. Why is everyone open water? What's happening? Are these the rumored dockyard warriors that I've been hearing about? I believe it is. I like I like my position right now because none of the battleships can shoot me. Which is pretty hilarious. I'm gonna keep reversing to try to get as close as possible. Now one one benefit of this is while you're reversing you get closer which reduces the distance of flight and mix them with these very fast planes. It's a very good combination. But also, when an enemy starts shooting you, you in focus firing, you can immediately set a course to accelerate away so you're not in too much of a pickle. Alrighty, we go. Let's check this Conqueror. Let's get some good damage off on him. He's totally oblivious of these torpedoes coming his way. Good. Good hit away to about like a five kilometer six kilometer distance and start the next attack r attack run he's actually turning accelerate away get two hits that's fine this is the definition of annoyance i i, I feel like the immelmans Playstyle is a lot more annoying than what, out of the other um, rework carriers that we have. Okay. Let's 
keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Hopefully, we don't steamroll them too hard because I really want this damage. Let's keep reversing too. I'll just keep farming the uh, the the conquer. Kind of wish some of my teammates actually uh, actually die, <laughs> so I can farm some more. But that's that's the hidden strat. We leave the conquer for now. Don't want her to get too focus fired because then if she dies, then that's less damage to farm. By now, these ships are all very saturated with from HE, so we can just strike whatever we want now. I mean, mid mid to late game. All right, Conqueror's just gonna die. All right, sure, that works too. Let's just uh, I am getting focus fire. Let's start accelerating away. Let's just drop these bombs right on top of the thunder. I don't see how she can dodge this. Dodge this. <laughs> okay. Set a course for autopilot. Away and we go. All right. 154k. That's not that bad, actually. That's pretty good. If these guys decide to push out, we can actually win. Or they can actually, you know, stall out the game a little longer because we have two minutes. I don't know why everyone's just so oblivious of that. Don't I don't feel like we should focus Montana. But I mean, might as well. We're already here, so. Start turning around. Autopilot activated. We shouldn't focus the Montana. We should focus the Hindenburg instead. Don't kill the Montana. If we leave Montana, we can actually stall out the game, but I don't think everyone- I don't think these guys really care. They just want to win, I guess. Your model's gonna die as well. I guess I just go after the kill here. Nice, Plymouth went down. She has to turn in all the way so I can get a really good shot here, but I guess she's just gonna die to that. Nice, our teammates are dying, that's a good sign. <laughs> this game is just a casual game, but yeah, this is basically how the games go with um with Immelwin. Um not much to really talk about other than the fact that it's, it is, it does require a bit of uh, getting used to. You would need a few games, like a game or two. The uh, main thing about Immelman is it lacks immediate game impact. That's a pretty big one. Quite a big, uh, big downside, really. Especially if you need immediate um, damage, it's not really going to be working out for you. One thing I noticed was. For skip bombers, you want to get the reticle to be behind the uh, the ship that you're focusing, if it's, especially if it's a battleship on the uh, on the on the third third line. Main main reason for this is a lot of battleships, a lot of ships in general actually, they have that side armor, the armor belt, where it's very tanky. You know, it's higher armor values than than um, what normally is on the stern and on the uh, on the upper deck or the upper armor belt. And is that my kill? Do I get it? I think he burns out here. Yeah. And one thing you can do is drop, set the reticle behind the ship, and then drop the bombs so that that way, as the bombs are arcing down, they hit them as, you know, they actually ignore, they don't hit the enhanced armor, um, armor belt, except they hit the upper, the upper armor. Which is less less armored. If you drop, if you set the reticle to be right on top of them, you're gonna the bombs are gonna arc downwards and hit directly on the heavily armored spot. All right, so that's the game. Pretty casual, 15 minute game actually. Um, this is this is what my games are uh, are looking like the whole night. So that's why I actually struggle with getting a decent game on this. Um, 
280k confederate you you with this ship you get a lot of a lot of fighters and wow really <laughs> really 2100 base xp for just doing that i literally just farmed and and, and audacious would just do this a lot better 29 aircraft lost 26 uh skip bombers 15 minute game pretty good fires 19k floods 17k yeah this is gonna be the first game first official game um upon immelman's release so hope you guys enjoyed i'm hoping to find a lot more better games than this one but i guess it's, we're just gonna have to deal with this for now now if you guys enjoyed just let me know um how are your experiences with the immelman if you're looking forward to getting it if you haven't gotten it yet um what do you think about how she fits in the other in the other tier 10 um carriers we have fdr hakuryu as the top two for competitive so where do you guys think that she stands right now let me know hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching have a good weekend guys